वेलकम टू बीकॉम थर्ड इयर स्टूडेंट्स सेमिस्टर फिफ्थ शिवाजी मिस्ट्री कोल्हापुर एडवांस अकाउंटेंसी युनिट्स आर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम जून टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी युनिट्स आर कवर्ड बँक फायनल अकाउंट फार्म अकाउंटिंग हायर पॅचेस सिस्टीम इन्शुरन्स क्लेम अँड जीएसटी अकाउंटिंग विथ अ प्रॅक्टिकल युझिंग टॅली पार्ट वन इन दिस व्हिडिओ वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस द मल्टिपल चॉईस क्वेश्चन नो वी गो टू फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द बँकिंग कंपनीज इन इंडिया आर गव्हर्न बाय बँकिंग रेग्युलेशन ऍक्ट नाईन्टीन फोर्टी नाईन हिअर ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट वन द रिवाइज फॉर्मॅट ऑफ द फायनल अकाउंट वेअर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय ऍक्ट इन द इयर नाईन्टी वन नाईन्टी टू हिअर ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट वन सेक्शन सेव्हन्टीन ऑफ द बँकिंग कंपनी ऍक्ट डायडॅश पर्सेंटेज ऑफ द नेट प्रॉफिट मस्ट बी ट्रान्सफर टू स्टार्ट रिझर्व हिअर 20% पर्सेंट ऑफ द प्रॉफिट ट्रान्सफर टू स्टार्ट रिझर्व हिअर ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट वन ए बँकिंग कंपनी मे पे ऍट मोस्ट डायडॅश पर्सेंट ऑफ द पेडअप कॅपिटल ऍज कमिशन ब्रोकरेज ऑन इश्यू ऑफ शेअर्स हिअर टू पॉईंट फाईव्ह पर्सेंट ऑफ द पेडअप कॅपिटल इज आन्सर्स हिअर ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट वन एस एल आर मीन्स स्टॅट्युटरी लिक्विड रेशो हिअर ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट वन Section 42 of the Reserve Bank of India Act empowers the RBI to increase the cash reserve ratio up to a 15%. Here option B is correct one. NPA means non-performing assets. Here option A is correct one. CRR means cash reserve ratio. Here option B is correct one. The banking company may forfeit the assets. in satisfaction of recovery of loans such assets are called as non banking assets here option d is correct one the banking companies cannot hold a non banking assets as permanently these are to be disposed of within a period of 7 years here option d is correct one statutory liquid ratio slr is to maintain by every banking companies not less than dash percent and not more than dash percentage here 25% and 40% is answer option a is correct one the guiding principle in line with international accounting standard is that of the income on a dash should be recognized on accrual basis and should be treated as a income only when actual received here non performing assets option c is correct one no question next the amount of discount on bill discounted received in advance is called as a rebate on bill discounted one expired discount a and b none of these here option c is correct both are the answers correct one no rebate on bill discounted is shown under the head other liabilities here option b is correct one the loans are advanced by bank having surplus funds surplus funds to needed bank loans repayable within 24 hours are called as a money at call option a is correct one the short term obligation issued by government at a discount bearing no interest and repayable at par on maturity is a treasury bills option c is correct one the bills are issued by bank from its clients to collect them on their due dates from the acceptor of the bill is called as a bills for collection option b is correct one the bank may give advantages of its credit to its client by accepting or endorsing a bill on their behalf is called as a acceptance endorsements and their obligations here option a is correct one bills payable includes unpaid bank drafts tra- telegraphic transfers mail transfers and all of these here option d is correct one investment in gold is shown under the head as a investment option b is correct one investment in silver is shown under the headings other assets here option a is correct one cash certificate is shown under the heading a deposit here option c is correct one cash credit is shown under the heading a loans or advances option a is correct one the treasury bill is shown under the headings as an investment option b is correct one or liability on rediscounted is shown under the head a contingent liability here option c is correct one accrued interest on investment is shown under the heading other assets here option b is correct one the banks are not allowed to keep more than 
डायरेक्ट पर्सन ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इन परमानेंट कैटेगरी सेवेंटी पर्सेंट हिर ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट वन द एसेट्स विच हाउ रिमेन एनपीए फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ एक्सीडिंग टू इयर्स एंड विच इज अनसिक्यूर्ड इज रिक्वायर टू मेक अ प्रोविजन फॉर डाउटफुल डेट्स इज अ हंड्रेड पर्सेंट हिर ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट वन द लॉस एसेट्स विच हैज बीन आइडेंटिफाइड बाय बैंक और इंटरनल ऑडिटर और रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया इंस्पेक्शन इट इज टू बी प्रोवाइडेड फॉर हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट वन नॉन बैंकिंग एसेट्स शुड बी शोन अंडर द हेड अदर एसेट्स हियर ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट वन क्वेश्चन थर्टी वन एज पर न्यू फॉर्मेट ऑफ फाइनल अकाउंट बैंकिंग कंपनीज ए प्रोविजन फॉर डाउटफुल डेट्स इज शोन अंडर द हेडिंग्स डायडेश इन पीएल अकाउंट एंड हेडिंग्स ऑफ डायडेश इन बैलेंस शीट एज पर न्यू फॉर्मेट प्रोविजन फॉर डाउटफुल डेट्स इज शोन अंडर द हेडिंग्स provisions and contingencies in pl account and uh, headings of advances it is to be deducted from advances in a balance sheet here option a is correct one question next the value of premises appear in trial balance rupees 50000 during the year 10000 were added in a premises the depreciation is charged at 5% per annum on opening balance what is the amount of depreciation now trial balance amount is uh, with additions of rupees 10000 It means opening balance will be forty thousand. On forty thousand, five percent it comes two thousand depreciation. Option A is correct one. Loss on revelation of investment is shown under the headings of a other income. It is to be deducted from other incomes. It is a loss. No question thirty four. The profit on revelation investment is shown under the headings other incomes. Here option A is correct one. The claim against the bank acknowledgement date as a debtor is to be shown under the heading a contingent liability. Option B is correct one. The endorsement made on behalf of customer is to be shown under the headings a contingent liability. Here option A is correct one. Interest on cash certificate is a dash of banking companies is an expenses. Interest on cash certificate is a deposit is expenses. Here option B is correct one. Interest on cash credit is a cash credit is a type of loan. Interest on loan is a dash of banking companies. Here, income of the banking companies option A is correct one. Loan's credit balance is to be shown under the headings a borrowings option C is correct one. Question forty. The loan's debit balance is to be shown under the heading advances option B is correct one. Interest on loan is a dash of banking companies is an income option A is correct one. Interest on deposit is a dash of banking companies is an expenses option B is correct one. Interest on balance with RBI is a dash of banking companies is a income option C is correct one. Question forty four, which of the following is not included in schedule number five? Other liabilities, an expiry discount, an expiry insurance, unpaid dividend. Provision for tax. Here, unexpired insurance is a also name as prepaid insurance is not included in a other liabilities. UK loan a debit balance is shown under the headings as a investment option. C is correct one. Bills purchased and discounted is to be shown under the headings advances option. D is correct one. Commission exchange and brokerage is to be shown under the heading. other incomes here option b is correct one credit balance of interest accrued is shown under the headings other liabilities option c is correct one debit balance of interest accrued is shown under the headings other assets option b is correct one contingency account is to be shown under the headings a deposit option c is correct one claim by employees for bonus is pending for hour of arbitration is a a contingent liability option a is correct one claim by employees for bonus is to be provided is to be shown under the headings other liability or balance sheet option b is correct one which of the following is not included in advances bank go draft loans advances cash credit and cash certificate cash certificate is a deposit one it is not included in advances option d is correct one which of the following is not included in deposit saving deposit 
कैश क्रेडिट कैश सर्टिफिकेट एंड करंट अकाउंट कैश क्रेडिट इज अ टाइप ऑफ लोन अकाउंट इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन डिपॉजिट हियर ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट वन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन अदर एसेट्स अन एक्सपायर्ड इंश्योरेंस अन एक्सपायर डिस्काउंट प्रीपेड एक्सपेंसेस एडवांस सैलरी हियर अन एक्सपायर डिस्काउंट इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन अदर एसेट्स इट शुड बी इंक्लूडेड इन अदर लैब डिस्क विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन बिल्स पेबल बैंक ड्राफ्ट टेलीग्राफिक ट्रांसफर्स मेल ट्रांसफर मनी एट कॉल हियर मनी एट कॉल इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन बिल्स पेबल इंटरेस्ट ऑन बैलेंस विद आरबीआई इज टू बी शोन अंडर द हेडिंग इंटरेस्ट और नो ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट वन एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ करंट अकाउंट ओवर ड्रॉन इज मेड एज एडेड इन डिपोजिट एंड एडेड इन एडवांसेस हियर ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट वन वीज ऑफ फॉलोइंग इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन एग्रीकल्चर एक्टिविटीज here agriculture animal husbandry poultry farming and stone quarries stone quarries is not included in agriculture activities the transaction which include exchange of articles excluding cash for example agricultural products given to workers as their wages is called as a, a barter transaction here option b is correct one the consumption of agricultural products by owner is called as a drawing reserve here option a is correct one the land development is a didash expenses is a capital expenses option b is correct one standing crop is treated as a work in progress option c is correct one objective of farm accounting is that of to find out the profit or loss of each activities to obtain loan from banks and other institutions to ascertain return on capital employed and all of these here option d is correct one all of these is correct one which is a non depreciable assets tractor development land and farm house here land is non depreciable assets option c is correct one which of the following is not included in a crop account growing crops wheat fertilizer feeding material here feeding material is not included in a crop account which of the following is not included in livestock cattle feeding material paddy sheep here paddy is not included in livestock which of the following is not included in cattle butter milk cattle feed eggs eggs is not included in cattle account this is a first part complete we discuss the other multiple choice question in the next part one thank you